Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today I wanted to share with you an interesting story. Very, very, very interesting story. And I think you will enjoy hearing it. It's all about a small boy in a small town. This uh, small boy walking on the street and uh, he has no even enough clothes to wear. He has no food to eat and he has no shelter. And uh, this boy is in continuous sickness. So there is a big and big and big king. And that very large kingdom is passing away on his on the street. He saw this very small boy and he called upon him. There's God's security, uh, all these people around the kingdom. So he asked him, what's your name? He told him. And they said, why, uh, why is your parents? He said, I have no parents. Uh, why are you going now? He said, I'm going nowhere. I don't know where to go. So this king uh, said, I will take care of you. So he took him to his palace, this very big palace. He did everything the parents did to their children. He did that to him and more. Uh, he gave him a large, when he grew up, he got him married and uh, everything going smoothly and uh, he is bearing the king's name and he's referring to king. Everything he is like his very, very, very uh, son, far beyond than relatives. Um, uh, when he grew up and he became a man, uh, he gave him a big kingdom. He gave him a big office in his kingdom. So this man, everything is going smoothly. But he, when he uh, grew up, as I said earlier, he started think to thinking about something. He said that, um, well, this maybe if I'm in that stand, I could do it. The same thing King did to me, and uh, anyone could be a king like him. My neighbor is a king in his house. Even Stone is a king in his kingdom. Even me, maybe I'm king. So he started to change his mind against this very man, the kingdom of his kingdom, the king of his kingdom. But the matter is going beyond that all. He started uh, telling these kind of thoughts he had to this very king. He started to say this clearly to him, that you are not alone, the king, even my neighbor, is a king in his kingdom, in his home, in his own house. And uh, he said, maybe I will, what you did to me when I was very young, no work to do, no job, no food, no shelter, no everything. Now, how you could measure the deep of a revenge this king will take to this very uh, notorious boy, to this traitor, to this nonsense children, to this nonsense child. Could you measure the deep of anxiety, the deep of depression, the deep of anger this king have against this boy? Allah Almighty is beyond all examples, is beyond all demonstrations. Allah is beyond all imaginations the man could imagine. This is just to draw our attention to the high level of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one could say that there is a creator of the universe other than Allah. No one, the believer and unbeliever, accept atheists. This is they have another door to enter. 
But if we believe that the universe, entire universe is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so why could you associate anyone with Allah? This is the only and single sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive. Take your mind. This is the only sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive. So we should be so careful about it. And we should preach about it. We should make it clear to the people that ask any such things you are doing, ask about it. Ask the scholars. Ask the one who you believe he understands things that is going on. Is this shirk, is this associating Allah with any other subject? Whether it is wali, whether it is teacher, whether it is subject, whether it is elephant, whether it is... Every mosquito, anything, even prophets, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, peace be upon him, don't associate them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This called shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive it. So we should be so, so, so careful about the shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive the one who associate him with any other thing, even it is precious, even it is respectable, you see, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make everything uh, smooth to us, and bright to us, and clear to us, so that we will not commit a shirk against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah guide us all, thank you, assalamu alaikum.